cleaning out the fridge, um, which results always in a mess. And we have a cow that we've been watching. She has seemed so close to calving for like weeks. But anyways, I noticed that she was pacing, her tail's up, um, all this stuff. So I was texting Keith and letting him know, oh, I think she's gonna calve. And then um, he was like, where is she? So I was like literally videoing out the window just to show him where she was standing, which was nice. It's nice when it's like right in front of the house. And out came the calf. So I'm gonna go head outside, check and make sure everything is fine. Um, it just started raining. She's just right here, which is awesome. Okay, let's go see. Keith's home, so we're gonna go outside. I've been watching that calf all day, but they're laying down. Okay, so here's the process. Tag, paste, and that's it when they're born. So Keith's going to drop an ear tag, which, what do we say? let me see, J-E-M-M-A. -M -M oh, we're doing kind of the same system as last year. I have a note on my phone, it links to my computer, and then it links to his phone. So it has the calf order, the tag number, which um, are registered have different numbers because they will inevitably have an ear tattoo. Um, so it kind of like correlates with that. The registered calves, cows, heifers, whatever, all of them have pink tags and then are unregistered but purebred. Um, calves, cows, all those, um, they have orange tags. This calf is 2407. The names do not matter to us, um, but because we're selling them people like it so they get a name they get a number so they'll get a tag and then they get paste um that's kind of all we do at birth so that's our system at birth obviously if something's wrong then it gets a little bit more intricate but did you get the butt to this or just the okay do you want this here you go okay off we go Placenta. They usually eat it, but she only ate part of it. somebody and then Keith filled me up with gas and then now I am headed to the P.O. box because I have a couple things there that I need to pick up so car chats are kind of like my favorite I just like sitting here and talking because it's like my most what's the right word it's like the best downtime that I kind of have where I can like sit contained and Kind of chat through a couple things so um as of today i know this vlog is going to be kind of like a mixture of a couple different days but as of today our website is live with our lookbook for um, our calves this season so not all of our calves are born yet 
but the calves that currently are born um, are in the lookbook. So we're doing things a tiny bit different this year than we did last year. So last year, I guess more or less we did have a lookbook, but as soon as I posted like all the calves to the website, they were just live. Like they were just instantly for sale. And then um, I did do a wait list last year. I hated it. I hated every second of it. It was horrible um, because we tried to be fair, number one, it's hard sometimes when people don't answer you. I definitely like tried my best last year to give like kind of guidelines. So we gave everybody 48 hours, like after we contacted them to make a selection of a calf on the website. If they didn't answer in 48 hours, I let them know like, hey, you know, we didn't hear from you. We're moving on to the next and work our way down. And people would get frustrated because they wanted to make a selection, even though it wasn't their turn and all these things. So I just decided, you know, that's not really my preference. That's not how I want to do it. Um, we had a lot of people that like on their selection, they would say like, oh no, we're not interested this season, like maybe next year. Or, um, you know, we don't have fencing or we don't have this, we don't have that. That made it kind of hard because my expectation was that everybody on the wait list was like ready to buy. And a lot of people were not. So, I don't want to go through that again, so we're not. Um, we're not doing the wait list, we're not doing pre-sales. So basically what we're doing this year is we have the lookbook with all the same photos that we normally post, all the same like stats that we normally post, like their birthday, their parents' info, that sort of thing. So all of that is in our lookbook. In May, that's when we will post what we have available at that given time for sale. So this year I've been working very hard behind the scenes. Like this is where sometimes as like a business owner or a rancher or whatever you want to call it, um, there's huge learning curves. There are website things and details that like, you know, you've never done before, but you have to learn on the fly. So we have a storefront that we will list. We'll keep the lookbook live because that will have like the majority of like probably more photos than the actual listing will have. Um, but then the listing photos, there, obviously there will still be photos, there will be the, still the same stats as what's on the website. Um, and then you can just simply add to cart. So if you're ready to buy, it's gonna be half the cost of the animal because that will be the deposit. Um, and then you add it to cart and then it's yours. Basically you're responsible for the remaining balance at the time of picking up your calf. Um, just like last year, deposits are not refundable. So if something happens to the animal on our side of thing, the deposit is fully reimbursable. But if like you up and decide, never mind, I don't want to buy from you, we're really not ready, that sort of thing, it is non-refundable and we don't transfer that deposit to another animal. Um, and then that animal, if for whatever reason the buyer doesn't want to buy it, it will go back live on the storefront. So it'll be kind of like more or less of a self checkout process this year. And then like people waiting on me to tell them it's their turn. They make a selection. I send them a Venmo. Then there's like a receipt and all these things. It'll just be like very simple. Add to cart. Like it's yours. You'll get a receipt. Um, and then it will be pending your pickup in the fall. So that's kind of the difference between last year and this year trying to just make it as seamless as possible it's easy for everybody not that you say like oh I don't want to do like last year because it was just too much work I'm not afraid to like work it's just it was a lot of extra leg work that I felt like added a little bit of confusion to the process um, so just to streamline things and make it easier for everybody that's what we're doing Chinese chicken salad last night so good so I kind of like 
make a big batch of the salad. So we can have it like little by little with dinners. I don't put the dressing on it until later so that it doesn't get like all soggy, you know? Um, so I'm gonna have some of that with my homemade dressing that I made for this. And we did have chicken with it last night, but the kids got it in their lunches today and so did Keith. So I don't get any chicken. Um, but I need some protein. So I'll try and figure that out. Something to add to my salad to make it a little bit more um, filling. Okay, so I'm gonna eat my lunch. I've been taking a class for like the last few months and I'm almost done. So I'm gonna try and finish that up today. And then I gotta go into town and take a test for that class. So um, I really wanna get it done so I can just get it behind me and move on with my life. Because literally for the last two months, I feel like I've been tied to my computer um, just taking this class, which I am quite frankly over. Like I don't wanna be tied to my computer. Um, like obviously I don't have a job right now. So um, I just don't wanna be doing that. So anyways, I'd love to get that kind of like chapter closed and started um, once the test is done. And then um, I gotta go get my kidlets from school. So I'm gonna eat, work on my class, and then zoom over and get the kids from school. We have one of our cows in labor. It's a nice one, they're all right out front because we can see it from the window. So um, from the office, we've seen her up, down, up, down, up, down. And I think I could see like two little feet kind of sticking out. So we're gonna go check. Mm -hmm. 